सुधीर गुप्ता जी स्वर नव में घर घर सुधीर गुप्ता जी के घर में आप बैठेगा प्लीज सुधीर गुप्ता जी आप बैठेगा प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द टाइमली बी सीटेड सुधीर गुप्ता जी काइंडली बी सीटेड मिस्टर स्पीकर सर सुधीर गुप्ता जी प्लीज सिट डाउन स्पीकर सर चेयरमैन 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 सर सर चेयरमैन I thank you for Shri giving me this. I am calling Sri A B A K I Jam to please speak. Thank you for this time. As I get up to speak on a troublesome moment in the history of India that has never happened, called the tragedy of Manipur, which is sought to be silenced by the government, and it is an irony that such an important matter, which is sought to be silenced, gets an opportunity as the midnight hour approaches. And this reminds me of the fact that people in my home state, the time is two hours ahead of Delhi. And we have been dancing on the tune of Delhi and the time that is supposed to be approaching 12 at the moment. People like Janu Barua and others have demanded for years that notice should have a separate time zone. Only then you will be able to live with dignity and a sense of well-being. The kind of priority that I can sense is this moment that I get a chance to speak. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm just trying to, Mr. Chairman, I'm drawing your attention to the absence of Manipur in the President's address. This is not a simple absence. It is a reminder of a Rasra Chetna which excludes people. You must realize that more than 60,000 people are linguistic in relief camp in a wretched conditions for the last one year. If anybody is read partition of the subcontinent, which I have done, I was associated with a research project we have interviewed more than 1,500 survivors of partition of 1947, and you are witnessing the same thing. People are living in a wretched conditions that I cannot even mention here. 60,000 people homeless is not a joke. 200 plus people died. And there has been a civil war-like situations where people are armed to the teeth and roaming around and fighting each other, defending their villages. And the Indian state is a mute spectator to this tragedy for one year. I must remind this house that each and every square centimeter of Manipur is covered by a central armed forces. It is one of the most militarized areas in this country where you have more armed policemen than the civil police, besides the armed forces of the Union. Despite this, how is that 60,000 people were rendered homeless and villages in thousands were destroyed? And yet, our Prime Minister remained mute, not even a word, and the presidential address did not even mention that. Shame, shame, shame. And I said that this silence is not normal. It is a reminder of the fact which many scholars have said that there is a continuity between colonial and the post-colonial period. Today we are observing a day where we begin a new criminal laws seemingly discarding the colonial heritage. But as Asis Nandi says, Colonialism is a state of mind. It is a psychological phenomenon. It is an outlook, the way you look at the people, the way look, you look at the world. And the fact that this continuity is shown by... Tired of paying extra charges for flight bookings? EaseMyTrip.com comes to the rescue. Enjoy flight... ...opportunity as the midnight hour approaches to register this anguish and this hurt of the denial that this country has met it out to its own citizens in the state of Manipur. 
I must ask these questions to the House. Is this silence communicating to the people of the Northeast and Manipur in particular that you don't matter in the Indian state scheme of things? Major Lysam Jotin, who was awarded Ashok Chakra while grappling with suicide bomber, was a Manipuri, who was awarded Ashok Chakra. You are dishonoring his own state. Major Nangom Joy Datta, who was awarded V Chakra while fighting for this country and doing his duty as a part of the peacekeeping force in Sri Lanka in 1987. You are dishonoring this man. You are dishonoring the likes of the youths who hold the tricolor in international platforms. The likes of Mary Combs, Sarita, Kunjarani, and Mirabai Chanu, you are saying that you don't matter in this country. Your state doesn't matter in this country. You are also saying that the likes of Ratan Tiam, the icon of the culture of this country, Arivan Sham Sarma, don't matter in this country. If you have an iota of concern for this state, there would not have been a silence. There would not have been a silence in this house, nor in the presidential address. Yes, this must be registered. Please raise your point of order. If you wanted to doubt the nationality and the nationalism of the people of that state, you must realize that these people have fought for the country. These people have brought Lural to this country. Please remember this. And that is what the silence means. And I am telling you this. Mary Kaum ko hamne member of parliament banaya. Bharti Janta Party ne member of parliament banaya. Hamne kaise nahi chanti Manipur ko? Manipur ka sports university diya. Aur aap sa jo hai, main ek aisa admi hu ki mere mama ko Manipur mein goli lagi. Wo CRPF ke DIG the. Inko sahit nahi pata hai. Aur unhe sa chappan mein pahla aap sa Manipur mein laga. Aur unhe sa chappan se aas tak you have to stop the violence. No, 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 no. years after independence can you negate this fact we are talking about the inclusion of the notice history after 75 years there's a classic exclusion india was an anthropological subject not a historical subject in the eyes of the colonial forces and today the northeast remains outside of the history of the indian history textbook that is why you treat them as the other and that's the silence and the silence on the Manipur tragedy is not unique. It is a reflection of this general continuity of the colonial in the post-colonial. It is sad to see a nationalist party Please like conclude. the BJP will Sir, feel comfortable with the silence this, on the tragedy of Manipur. Keep your house, hands on your heart. Chair. And think about the 60,000 no, people who are linguistic in relief camps. No. And those mothers, those widows, think of them. And then you talk about nationalism. Is made. He made Only his then point. we will understand what this tragedy means. And Mr. Chairman, the hurt, the anger has thrown a nobody like me to be part of this temple of democracy. Beating the BJP cabinet minister, think about the pain. If you hear an anxiety, anguish, and a pain in my voice, please go back and see those 60,000 people linguishing in the relief camp. Don't talk about partition remembrance till you bring that. I would keep quiet the moment the prime minister opened his mouth and the nationalist party says that right. Manipur is part of India and we care for the people of that state. Only then I will accept what is nationalism in our face. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I thank the House. The House stands adjourned to meet on Tuesday, the 2nd July 2024 at 11 a.m.